There seems to be a lot of confusion surrounding the implementation of earned value. What is it? How to use it? And why project managers use earned value project management tools for project control? The basic premise is simple. Time is money. Therefore, your three core metrics, earned value, planned value, and actual cost, are all expressed in dollars. Planned value is determined at the task level from your work breakdown structure. If you're using Microsoft Project, earned value is called the BCWP, or Budgeted Cost of Work Performed. Planned value is called the BCWS, or Budgeted Cost of Work Scheduled. These are legacy terms and have been replaced by the terms earned value and planned value. Actual cost is called actual cost. You can change the column header to earned value and planned value by double-clicking on the header and entering these names in the title box. We all know that you've assigned each task a duration, not a dollar amount. But thanks to the transitive property of time equals money, voila, you arrive at the monetary value for each task. You can do this by loading a burdened hourly rate for the resources assigned to the task and multiplying it by the time scheduled. To make the math easier, let's say the task is racking a server and we've allocated two hours for a resource that has a burdened rate of $50 an hour. The planned value for our task is $100. Earn value is a representation of the work completed on the task. Our engineer begins the task and at the end of the day reports that he's taken the server out of the box. That wrong server. Alright, that's better. Now, let's call that task 25% complete. Since our deliverable has a planned value of $100 and 25% of the work to complete the task is done, the earned value is $25. Actual cost represents the effort expended to arrive at the current completion level for the deliverable. We've created $25 of earned value on our task, but now we need to compare the value created to the cost incurred. Looking at their timesheet, our engineer charged one half hour to the project. His bill rate is $50 an hour. That means the actual cost for this task so far is $25. So we have our planned value, $100, earned value, 25 and actual cost 25. So, how do we use these metrics? The triad of project management is scope, schedule, and budget. So, in order for earned value project management to have a value as a project control tool, it has to give us information on our core metrics, which it does by allowing us to calculate the cost performance index and the schedule performance index. There are many more project performance indicators you can calculate using our three metrics, which I'll describe in detail in the next video, but these provide a good snapshot. The cost performance index, or CPI, is calculated by dividing earned value by actual cost. In our example, we've incurred $25 of cost to produce $25 of value, so we calculate our CPI as 1. If it had taken our engineer an hour to unbox the server, our CPI would be 5, indicating that we had spent two times the cost per value unit. If it had taken 15 minutes, our CPI would be $12.5, of cost for $25 of value, a CPI of 2. The Schedule Performance Index is calculated by dividing the earned value by the planned value. In our example, we earn $25 of value on a task that has a $100 planned value, so our schedule performance is 0.25, which indicates serious schedule problems. The key to using the SPI to give an accurate snapshot of schedule performance requires implementing rules for recognizing value. I'm an advocate of the 0-100 method, where a task has no earned value until it's complete, and you wouldn't include an incomplete task in your SPI calculation unless it was past due. This will give a more accurate snapshot of the current schedule of the project. There are some basic rules for when to recognize value and when to include tasks in the earned value calculations that I'll go into in a future video. The concept to take away is that to get a snapshot of a project status, an index value of 1 indicates right on schedule and budget. Greater than 1 is good. It means that more value has been created than planned or that the value was earned ahead of schedule. And a value of less than 1 means behind schedule or over cost.